Welcome students, we got an interesting question. Let me draw the circle. They are both lying on this plank and there is a square A, B, C, D is a square. Now we are expected to find the area of the square. So we are also given the radius of these circles. So radius is given to be as 5 units or 5 feet and both these circles are identical so both C1 and C2 are identically equal and we are expected to find the area so let me change this area of the square this is needed so <coughs> excuse me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the side of the square let the side of the square be equal to x units so this is going to be x and what I wish to do is all of the sides are x units right so let me drop a perpendicular so I'm going to be dropping a perpendicular from the center to the base so this is going to be 5 units this entire length is going to be 5 units fine now I will also connect let me take this as O now we will connect O with D so I will connect O with D and that is going to be 5 units and then what I will do is I will take a point P and I will connect D with P a lot of connections okay I'll take this point as P connect P with D let PD be equal to Y units okay so this is y units and this line which is drawn from O let this point be Q okay also OQ is equal to 5 units so if AD is equal to X units this means PQ is equal to X units this in turn means OP this entire thing is X OP is actually equal to OQ minus PQ OQ is 5 units PQ is X so OP is 5 minus X OP is 5 minus X now this is 90 so consider I'm going to use this side consider triangle OPD and since angle at P is 90 by Pythagoras theorem we get 
OP squared plus PD squared is equal to OD squared. OD squared is 5 squared. PD squared is Y squared. And OP squared is 5 negative X whole squared. And I'm going to represent this for Y. So Y squared is 25 negative 5 negative X whole squared. This is my Y. Now what I wish to do is I would like to extend C to this point. So this is O and let me take this as some S. So from S I am dropping a perpendicular to R and from C I am dropping a perpendicular to T. So PD or PD is Y. So CT will be equal to Y. This distance is X. Okay. So now what I wish to do is I would also like to extend this region. Let me make this extension. From the point of connectivity, I'm extending. So I have given two circles, C1 and C2, both are identical. So this is going to be five units. So what have you got? We have got Y plus X plus Y is equal to five plus five, isn't it? So let me write that. Consider the rectangle. Consider the rectangle P O S T, right? P O S T. It's beautifully formed. And clearly, what do we get? Clearly, Y plus X plus Y, Y plus X plus Y, this entire length is equal to this plus this right 5 plus 5 so you got 2 times y plus x is equal to 10 so 2y is equal to 10 negative x so y is equal to 10 negative x divided by 2 now you square this both sides so if you square both sides let me write that down squaring both sides we get so what do we get you get y squared is equal to 10 negative x whole squared divided by 4 but this is 1 this is 2 so equating 1 and 2 what do we get equating 1 and 2 we get 10 negative x whole squared divided by 4 is equal to 25 negative 5 negative x whole squared now let me move to the next page so I would expand this and solve for x so this is going to be 100 negative 20 times x positive x squared and I'm going to move this 4 to this side so it's going to be 4 times 25 negative 25 expand this 10 times x and you have a negative sign so this will become positive because of the presence of a negative sign and you have a negative x squared so you expand this 25 negative 25 this goes off right and then you have 40 times x negative 4 times x squared is equal to this entire quantity. So what I will do is I will bring everything to this side. So this is going to be x squared plus 4x squared negative 40x negative 20x positive 100 is equal to 0. You can add these two together and you get 5x squared negative 60x plus 100 is equal to 0. You divide by 5 you get x squared negative 12 times x positive 20 is equal to 0. 
so you need to get 12 and you need to get 20 so do you think uh, we can factorize if I were to factorize this um, I would have to use <coughs> excuse me so you got 20 there you got negative 12 so 10 negative 10 negative 2 negative 10 added with negative 2 will give me negative 12 negative 10 multiplied with negative 2 will give me 20 so this is going to be x negative 10 times x negative 2 is equal to 0 yes x into x x squared negative 10 x negative 2 x and positive 20 so that is this is the factor so this implies x negative 10 is equal to 0 or x negative 2 is equal to 0 x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 10 now we cannot have both the solutions now x cannot be equal to 10 why because the radii itself is 5 units so if x is equal to 10 how is it going to be accommodated inside right that's not going to be possible so x is equal to 10 means this will stretch out so this has to be dropped so x is equal to 2 is the length of the side so length of the side is x is equal to 2 so area is required so therefore area of the square is x squared is 2 into 2 is equal to 4 square units that is the area